when you saw her like that, you did tell me that you went to the internet. Mm -hmm. You went to the internet mm -hmm. to find mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Why did you go to the internet to find something? Because you come, came all the way to, from Jakarta. Mm -hmm. You believe that the doctors are going to help you. Mm -hmm. And you go and stay in the hospital, the doctor is going to help, she will get better. But why after one and a half month, have you lost that confidence that you go to the internet to find something? Yeah, because the doctor already warned me two weeks before the result come. Two weeks before the result come. Huh. Well, the, when the CM marker uh, started being rise up. Huh. Uh, and the doctor says, I think I can see that the cancer now starting to fight back uh, the drugs. Okay. If the next chemo, the CM marker going up, that means see I cannot give the same drugs. If that happen, then we cannot use the drug and we just do uh, give another drug. Mm. But the drug cannot cure your, your sister. It only prolong uh, her life. And when that happen, the result come up. So the doctor called me. Yes, the result already come out. The same marker going up. So that means we cannot uh, use the same drug anymore, and we can use another drug. So I'm sorry to tell you that the doctor said, okay. So I know what the meaning is. Uh, the doctor already give up to do to give the medicine that cure my sister, yeah. and only can give another drug which can prolong and I asked how long for only six or eight months only the age so that's why it started to let me think something I should make a move to turn around to other way so that's why yeah I just try to find out how how what about cancer this cancer what is it before like yes I'm not too care about it I'm not trying to find any detail, what is it, what, I only just follow what the doctor say. That was before. You you did not bother before uh, yeah. you come here to find everything. Yes. That means you do not learn how to educate yourself. Yes. Okay. And then okay. I found that I saw that one lady give her. Yeah. Though you did not really know that there was such thing as cancer no. care? No. Did not know anything at all? No. Nothing? Nothing. No information at all. No. So you just happened to find it? Just happened like that. I just found and then uh, after saw in the YouTube and then it stated she takes the CA, the T, what? The herb CA. A herbs or what? And then I said, I tried to find in the website what is what is it? I yeah. don't know. Yeah. And then find your website. And then I I try to read and what is it? And then, and then there is a what? And then I said, I surprised. Oh, here in Penang. Why don't I try to come and ask advice from you? It's happened like that. That's all. Yeah, that's all. Before you did this, you said you you pray. Yeah. At that night, what? well, after the doctor, after the doctor tell me the truth huh. that she cannot use the same drug, that means she already give up. So I just calm myself because my sister didn't know about it. She didn't know about the information at all. I just what happened because I know something bad will be happen. Yeah. So I just. Close my eyes and pray, and last the day, tomorrow I sleep. Tomorrow morning, I open and then found it. <laughs> Just so happened like that. Before this, did you ever pray? Yes, pray, but not this kind of pray. No. What, did you, what did you pray? <laughs> I just pray, uh, let her be peace, happy, not suffering like this, but. This kind of prayer. This kind is what kind of prayer? Can you tell me what prayer you make this you do? God, you have known the the result the doctor already gave up. Yeah. This is the fact, the reality. Yeah. 
and then just show me the way is there any kind of alternative to give uh, to let my sister free from the suffering whatever happened just be your decision not yeah. mine yeah. as long as she's happy if she has to die die in peace <laughs> if she can live let her also live free from the cancer but and please show me what should I do I don't know anything and I just sleep <laughs> tomorrow morning <laughs> so I don't know <laughs> and then tomorrow morning I saw in the YouTube one lady confess that I said uh, she, she said she has stage 4 mm. of the cancer, ovary cancer and te uh, took your herbs and then totally cure and I said stage 4, my sister still in stage 3 so maybe there is hope so I in the morning I let her also so, uh, we see together the YouTube and then and I said why don't we try this I said maybe this is the way I don't know either. So if you ask me this you can do, I don't know either. But why don't we try this? He just ignore me. <laughs> okay, I make an appointment. I got the Friday. And then you yeah. reply my email. And yeah. I, I said I should give you some brief information first. Yeah. So yeah. maybe it's yeah. more fast, yeah? yeah? And then I got your uh, reply to come tomorrow because mm. that on Monday, right? Yeah. On Monday. And then, yeah, it just happened like that, day by day. Yeah, because we don't want to continue the chemo. Yeah. The first thing. And yeah. then second, we want to take her back. Yeah. And then, when to take her back, we have to be another plan. Yes. yes. And then I you, agree with you. You refuse to do chemo. Yes. You to continue yes. with chemo in Penang. Mm. All right. Then you want to take her home. All right. To Jakarta. Mm. The second option is to stay in Penang Hospital, mm. but take her. Yeah. The problem is, mm -hmm. the problem is, mm -hmm. they will continue to start giving all these things. Look, we are in trouble. No, I can cut. Well, maybe be because some of the medicine I should buy by myself because it's very expensive. At the first time, yeah. they serve from the hospital. Yeah. But I told the doctor I cannot afford, afford the medicine from the hospital. Very expensive. Yeah. Can I? buy it from the pharmacy outside and then the doctor agreed so some of the medicine I buy by myself yeah. so I can and yeah. all the medicine I'm the one who give the rest you give the medicine you say not the nurse no uh, the nurse so the I medicine. can huh? I can continue because not the, of the medicine yeah not I'm the one so what do you do then every day in the hospital now yeah that like in the hospital now what do you do it's something that happened right she hard to breathe, she can give oxygen. Because now she hard to walk, the condition is very weak to fly back yeah. to Jakarta. So I want to give her some strength first before we go back to Jakarta. But I have no objection. If you think that you want to do that, mm -hmm. I mean, that's fine with me. Mm -hmm. I think my job is to help people, so I will do my best to help. Mm -hmm. But again, as I tell you, you have to be responsible for yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's no point also to asking me what to do because I cannot tell you what to do. So, when you are in a hospital, if anything go wrong also, you make the decision what to do. It's up to you. If you think that you want to go there, that's fine. Then you continue to take the herb. Now to take the herb, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a few types of herb mm -hmm. for different, different problems. Mm -hmm. And then you have to boil them, mm -hmm. and then you bring put them in the glass, mm -hmm. and ask the wife what to do. Mm -hmm. Then, when the time comes for drinking, you have to drink. Then let's try okay. and see. You give me one week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. From one week, you will know. Mm -hmm. okay. but, uh, this is how I would do. Mm -hmm. I really don't know. It is between God and your sister. Okay. Mm -hmm. Really, I don't not know. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Alright? Mm -hmm. huh? But we will do the best we can, I know yeah. there's 